Hi friends, welcome to a Sunnyside Design video. I am Michelle. And I am Steph. And welcome today to the reveal of our one room challenge, our modern coastal bathroom reveal. Yeah, we're so excited. We are. Are you ready <laughs> to see it? We're gonna open the door and take you on a little tour. And if you are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and comment below. We would love to hear from you. We'd love to hear your thoughts about this room or if you have questions about things that we did do. Yep. So here we go. So again, this is a Jack and Jill bath. So this is the entrance from the main living area. And we will walk you through to the other entrance which hooks onto our office. But you start out and there's this vanity which I love that it looks like a piece of furniture with these raised legs. It is from Home Depot. We will put a link in the description below. It is the Stanhope Vanity made out of reclaimed oak. And just to remind you a little bit from a previous video that we've done, it has some awesome storage in this drawer with these little sectioned cubbies that fit around the plumbing and they have soft clothes, which is amazing. They also have dovetail construction, which means that they are built really well. They'll be sturdy. And it also came with this vanity top and sink. So I thought that was pretty incredible for the price. And we did have to buy the faucets separately, but we also got those from Home Depot. They are Glacier Bay. And yes, you can see this mess out here through the mirror because you know what? We've been focusing on the bathroom and the rest of the basement has been neglected. But I do love these little hints of modern decor we have here with the rounded and uh, beveled mirror, the gold accents, and the mixed metals. So we have gold and black. And we also, you can see this little sign right here. We are going to be opening up our Etsy shop in the near future which we will have this available for download among other things from our blog that we've had in the past. And we're gonna step into this other side in a minute, but my most favorite piece of decor is over there, which we are also going to have available for purchase. So just to kind of show you a scan right here, we have these fun kind of industrial shelves above the toilet. We've got a lot of little coastal keepsakes here. We even have cute little, we like to decorate with sentimental items. This is my great grandma in her cute little bathing suit. And then this is my grandma, her daughter, in her swimming suit. So I just love having these little personal touches in my space because every time I pass them, I am just reminded of them and who they were and it just makes me happy and it also just makes me you know kind of think if they were still around today how would they like this space and they would just be so proud of us because we are self-taught DIYers you know we've done this entire room ourselves we didn't hire out anything and so I'm pretty proud of us so I can imagine they would be too and that just makes me happy We have this fun sliding barn door that we installed. We used an old vintage door and turned it into this barn door and it is the perfect cover for our hidden toilet paper storage. So my kids think that's pretty cool, but I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I do too, actually. And I really do just love like these little 
hints of modern mixed with the classic and timeless look of the tile. I think this is just gonna be stylish for a long time. So over on this wall we've done a board and batten wall, which I also love. Just, you know, gives an otherwise empty wall a little bit of character and purpose. It's the perfect place to hang our towels for the shower. And then of course, displaying some fun artwork above there. And this piece of art here is also gonna be available on our Etsy shop. Just some fun signal flags, uh, not a full signal flags. Don't ask me what letters they stand for because I know. <laughs> I just thought they were fun. Moving into this section of the bath, we have our tub, shower, and again, this really fun navy blue subway tile, which I love, love, love. It was a little maybe scary putting it up because I thought, ooh, I better like this, but I do. <laughs> I love it just with all the rest of the white in this space. It looks really fresh. And being subway tile, it is going to be timeless and not really go out of style. So we should be good. So we have a fun little table by the tub with candle and plant and little magazine. So I think I'm going to be the first one to break this tub in. I think I deserve a nice long bubble bath. Yeah. I also love this little pop of coastal flare with these scale tiles in this niche. They are by Elysium Tiles. Just adds a little bit more of character to this space. But I really do love this high contrast with navy and white. It just looks really fresh. It's calming. It makes me feel like I'm almost at a vacation resort or just taking me back to a nostalgic beach vacation. Again, going into this side of the bathroom, we have the board and batten wall with perfect storage for our towels. And I have to tell you about these. They are Turkish towels. I got them off of Etsy and I will put the link below. But if you've not tried these towels, they are amazing. They are very lightweight. They fold up super small so you can travel with them and they dry like none other. And also they came straight from Turkey and they got here in four days, which was amazing. Up here we have, they're not real swimming suits, but we had my cousin actually make these for us. It's mixed media art that we are going to make some digital downloads available if you want to use them in your home anywhere to decorate with. We just thought they were a really fun accent created specifically for this space and it just ties in well with the rest of the theme and the cute pictures of my grandma's. So just a little, a fun little vintage flair, even though they're not vintage, but they sure look that way. Entering in from our office, which really is a bedroom. We just use it as an office. We have another vanity, matching vanity. It's just a little bit smaller, um, but it still has all of the same great functionality and fun look to it.
All right, here is one little feature I almost forgot to show you. We have installed a mirror on the back of this barn door just to have a little bit more light reflecting and who doesn't need a mirror in the bathroom? So it's just kind of a little hidden treasure and I almost forgot to share it with you. What do you think of this bathroom? I think it looks really good over here and there. Does it look good on this side? What's your favorite part? Um, well, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> that means there might be some naked bodies in here. Because ah! <laughs> are you naked when you have a bath? Yeah. Yeah. You okay. should put that like. Right. Right at the shower. Right, right here. Oh, <laughs> well, this tells you beyond there. You better watch out. Okay, what else is your favorite part? Do you have any more favorite parts in here? Um, what about the hidden toilet paper storage? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Well, be careful when you pull that. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that too. Okay, that is pretty cool. What's another favorite part of here? Anything else you love in this bathroom? Um, I like that little shelf right there. The seashell? Okay. Great. Anything else? Um, what is, what is this? That would be some coral. coral. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I like the way of the sink because it goes boing, boing, boing. Mm -hmm. Fancy. It is fancy. It is fancy. It's all my favorite. All right, great, thank you. I absolutely love this bathroom and coastal decor is really not my thing. It is Steph's, but yeah. I absolutely love I the way this, her. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way it turned out. So please share what your favorite element of this room is. Do you love it? Is it not your thing? Or are there elements that and ideas that we use that you could use in your own home? Own home and with your own style. I mean, oh, it doesn't, exactly. you don't it, have to like coastal, but could you use these elements in your own home right. and make it work for you? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Give this video a thumbs up. That really helps our videos in the algorithm. Share with your friends and um, be sure to check the links in the description below. We will have a lot of the things in here that we've purchased that you can grab for yourself if you want and we'll also have links for um, all of our other social media and our blog and everything else and and links to all of the DIY projects that yes. happened in this bathroom because there was almost a ton. everything is <laughs> DIY projects <laughs> it was so if you want to know how to do it yeah you can see how we for did sure. it how was i going to miss that so yeah go check those out 
And as always here at Sunnyside Design, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street. Thank you.